Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another Shop My Stash. You guys really have been enjoying these Shop My Stash. And I've also, I think this is one of my favorite videos to film or Shop My Stash. Being able to shop my collection, use products that I haven't used in a while. I think I've had a few new viewers and they have asked um, in the comments section, what is Shop My Stash? Because you're not, I'm not selling anything, you know? Um, Shop My Stash is just me going through my collection and sharing with you guys what I kind of have and um, shopping my stash, you know, kind of to look for products that I haven't used in a while and rotate my collection since I tend to use the same stuff every single time. That's what I was doing before I started Shop My Stash. That's why I'm doing these weekly ones, just, just to kind of rotate through my products a little faster than actually doing monthly ones. I've really been enjoying the weekly ones just because I have like fresh products to try every week than having the same thing for a month. If you want to see the products I picked last week and what I thought of them, just continue watching and yeah, let's just jump so right in. So the first item that's on the top here is the Emily The Wands palette and it's a collab with Makeup Revolution and Emily Noel 83 here on YouTube. I really enjoyed this palette. The mattes were really good. The only thing on the shimmer, some of them were hit and miss, like some of them packed really nicely and others like I really had to dig into them to apply them onto my lid. I didn't really spray my brush or anything. I just used like a really dense packing brush and it felt like that really helped the color to pack onto my lids. But I really enjoyed this palette. I would recommend this palette if you guys are eyeing this. In my first drawer here, I have my perfume by Marc Jacobs in Decadence. And as you can see here, I do have a little bit left. I was not expecting the scent of this to be what it was. I don't know how I would describe it. It's like woodsy and it kind of had like cinnamony scent. It was different. At first I was like, whoa, that's different. Cause I've been used to like trying like samples of like florals or sweet scents, but this was like woodsy cinnamon like. I don't know, it was different. It was, it, I wasn't expecting this scent at all but it was nice and different if you guys are wondering this is what the actual bottle looks like but i did enjoy it i don't know about purchasing a full size i kind of like it and i don't so i don't know i'm on the fence on that one and then i had two lip products this month the first or this week the first one was the Kat Von D lolita lipstick and it's just like a neutral everyday your lips with better shade and i really enjoyed this and then i also did use this liquid katsu by wet and wild in flame of the game and i did find this was kind of like really thin is your guys's lippy from wet and wild like that too i have other lipsticks but they're not like this formula was and i just opened it for this week it, it was new so i don't know i did like the color it was very bright actually but Next up, I have this L'Oreal Voluminous Feline Mascara. I remember this mascara being like my holy grail, but after trying the Lash Princess one, the uh, Lash Effect Mascara, the green, the black two with the green lettering, that one is bomb. I feel like the Lash Princess is still my favorite mascara compared to this. This is nice, it does volumize my lashes, but I feel like I like the Essence Mascara better than this, and it's cheaper than this one is. For liner this week, I used the Ulta Beauty Classic Felt Tip Liner. This was nice. I like to use it every time I have used it. And then the last thing that's in here is the LA Colors Brow Wee Wowie Brow Pencil. And this is in dark brunette, maybe dark brown. I don't know. It just says dark. I really like this brow pencil. It's not too waxy, not too stiff. It has kind of like the brow definer tip i really like this brow pen so i would definitely recommend this and also repurchase in my next drawer i have a few products of course first one is the nars natural radiant longwear foundation this is beautiful you guys i love this foundation so much it's not even like super radiant actually right now if you see my skin i'm pretty radiant i applied this around 6 30 um a.m and this is now 3 p.m so i've had it on where what six seven eight nine hours my skin looks a little radiant but I find that when I blot my face, it looks like I just freshly applied it. This blots really beautifully. A really, really nice foundation. I find that it's like a satin matte finish. It's beautiful on the skin. I definitely recommend this. And I use the shade Fiji. I also did use my Becca um, highlight in Champagne Pop. This is in my project pen. I'll do a little fast sneak peek. <laughs> I will be filming an update this week. So you guys will be seeing more on that. Then this is also on my project pen. This is the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in Dulce de Leche. Um, yeah, I really like this one. I love the setting side, setting powder side. 
but I need to finish this up before I use my new one. So I've been trying to finish this up, but I've been focusing more on the other bronzer that's in my project pen that was in the shop my stash this week. But I do like this duo if you guys are interested in picking something up if that's affordable. And then the last two things that are in here are two primers. This one is also in my project pen. I was trying to focus on project pen items this week before I filmed my update. Um, this is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser, and I've really been enjoying this. This is really nice. This is silicone-based, so if you do not like silicone-based primers, um, you might not like this. I didn't like silicone-based primers, but I've actually really been enjoying them again. And this is really good for pores. And this one is the Hangover Replenishing Face Primer with Coconut Water. This is pretty hydrating, and also I found that it does kind of blur my pores as well. So I really like this one also. And sneak peek, I did pick up a full size of this during the 21 Days of Ulta Beauty Steel. So you guys will be seeing the full size of this in a future haul. The last items that are in here, this first thing is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Bar in Earth. This is really nice and blinding and also very affordable. Can do a swatch i don't know if you guys can tell but this was really nice i did enjoy this i also did pick these two blushes because i had picked these up from ulta and they were 75 percent off i pay like a dollar something for each one this one is nice this is a number 15 it's like a pinky everyday nude this one is more pa a paler shade like a nude color i found that this showed up but i had to really pack this on myself so if you're like light medium this may take a little effort to show up, but if you're light skin tone, this would be beautiful. Another blush that I used this week was the LA Girl Just Blushing in Just Peachy. This is super pigmented, so really be careful. It's just an, like a peachy orange color. It was really beautiful. I did enjoy this as well. I really like these blushes. I have like two other ones too. And again, my SPF No Excuses by Julep. I've been using this as sunscreen. Um, for concealer, I have this Superstay Better Skin by Maybelline. This is almost out, and it's not my favorite concealer, and I'm almost out of it, actually. There's, like, a lot of scraping, and there was barely... Oh, actually, now I can see inside of it. There's, like, barely any... If anything, I think there's more, like, down there. I'm actually just going to put this in my empties just because it's not my favorite concealer, and there's not that much product left in here. Um, I wouldn't repurchase this. And then this is the Skin Food Salmon Dark Circle Concealer Cream. It just looks like this. So it's just like a salmon color. I did enjoy this. It, I felt like it helped blur like my dark circles. I didn't feel like it really like erases my dark circles. I feel like I need like a deeper shade maybe. But once I applied this concealer over it, I felt like I didn't... I could see some darkness so i feel like this is not really like full coverage it's probably a medium light medium maybe but this was good this was not that great next up i have the hula benefit bronzer this is also on my project pen you guys want to see an update real quick i'm going to do a, fl a flash show Ooh, did you guys see that but this is a great update for my project pen and i love this bronzer it's really nice i would pick up a full size of this but i do have a full size of hula bronzer in my Chicathon pal face palette. So I've been trying to hold off. This was actually in the 21 Days of Beauty Steals at Ulta too. And I debated whether to get it. I'm not sure if it's still. It might have been yesterday or maybe today that I'm filming this. So I'm on the fence whether to pick up a full size or not. But I do have, again, the full size in the Chicathon. So I might just hold off on picking up like a single hula bronzer. And then the last thing that's in here is a Too Faced Ethereal setting powder um, from the born this way line i love this powder and it also comes with this so you don't get like overflowage of powder this is bomb i really like this powder but again i'm going to put this away i don't think i'm keeping anything from the week so let's go ahead and shop my stash so i've been trying to bring my collection into my filming room and i did build these a few weeks ago just trying to organize everything i also have one on that side as well so eventually i'll do like a makeup collection video so things are not where i want them and i just kind of have them everywhere so we do need a foundation and i bought this little kind of like spice rack i think it's pretty cool for my foundations what do you guys think but um i actually just got this cover fx enhancer drops from marshall's it was like 7.99 and it was, of course, in my shade. This is N40, so I think I want to try this. And I was thinking that I probably should really use the Kiko... Is it the Kiko one? That I bought in Las Vegas when I went. 
Where is it? <clears throat> Maybe and use that. I need to find it because I have no idea where it went. I already decluttered. I had filmed the declutter on foundations and this is what I kept. But this is still a lot of foundations. So I need to declutter more. But this was a snake. It would have bit me 50 times. But here is the foundation. This is the Koki Cosmetic Skin Perfect HD Foundation. This has like a natural. It says mid coverage natural finish foundation and i have mine in the shade 40w so i kind of want to try these two just because i've had this is new and i haven't tried it and i just got this i also picked up the becca luminous um aqua luminous foundation from marshall's as well and i haven't used that either but right now it's kind of hot outside so i still want to kind of have like a matte coverage foundation so i'm going to go ahead and use these two this week and then, uh, you guys will kind of see my organization right now. I don't know if I'm going to keep it this way, but right now I have concealers and primers. Like, I have drugstore and then high-end over here. So for primer, I kind of want to do something that will keep me matte. And of course, something I haven't used in a while. Um, I'm kind of thinking this over here. But I don't think this is matte. I know this is smoothing. But let me see what else I have over here. Oh, you know what? I haven't used this primer in a while. Maybe I can try this. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. It's um light. Um, this is oil-free compared to the clear one. I have the clear one back here too, actually. Let's compare. I know this one is for like oily skin, whereas this one is targeted for everybody, I believe. I'm not sure, but I picked up this because I think they said that this one was geared towards oily skin, the one that says light on there. So I think I'm gonna take this primer. So we'll go with high end and we'll just stick this back in here. And then for concealer, I was, I did not even realize that I have more drugstore concealers than I do high end. It's kind of crazy. I didn't think I had more drugstore. And I'm going to declutter still. I just brought all my makeup from my restroom, most of it. There's still some in there to kind of organize. They're not the way I want them. I'm just trying to kind of bring everything over here into my filming room and then kind of organize. But... I was thinking that I had totally forgotten that I had gotten this concealer. This is by the brand Collab. Um, and I want to use this concealer this week. So we're going to use this one also. And then what else? I wonder if I should pick another concealer. There's a lot in here that I actually want to declutter from in here. But actually, I want to use this too to see if I want to keep it or not. This is the CoverGirl Outlast All Day. And I have mine in the shade Light Medium. So I'm going to try this concealer out too. In the next drawer, I believe I have powders, and yes, I know I need to declutter again. <coughs> this is not what all I'm keeping. I know I want to keep my loose powders and um and pressed powders in here. So, so this row and this row are loose, and this middle row are pretty much pressed, except for this, of course. But um, let's see what I should use. I actually wanted to use this up because I've had it for a while. I want to see if I want to keep it or not. This is the Laura Mercier. It's um, a mineral powder and it's in the shade French Vanilla. I've had this for such a long time and I don't have very much left. So I obviously really loved it when I did use it. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. And I'm just putting my stuff over here. My organizers. But we'll use that. that that's my basket. <laughs> and I don't think I can use that to set my under eyes. So I need to pick something else. It's kind of hard to just have one hand available. I think this is going to be too dark for my under eyes. I don't have like a light enough pressed powder. Mm. I also have this. Actually, let's try this out. This is also Laura Mercier powder. This is the Secret Brightening Powder. I don't remember how I like this and it looks like I have a lot of products still in here. So let's go ahead and try this and see if I'm going to end up keeping this or decluttering it. Right now my third drawer is my highlighter drawer and yep, this is all highlights. Um, I don't know what I want to use. Something I haven't used in a while. I haven't used this in a while. This is the Laura Geller um, Gilded Honey Highlights. Maybe I could use this. And maybe pick another one. These Wet n Wild Highlighters. 
I haven't used precious, I haven't used these either, so maybe I should use precious petals because that's like an OG highlight. I have these Michael drawers, so they're not like the Ikea ones, so I gotta be careful or else they're gonna like, they can fall out because I didn't put the stopper on there because I wanted to be able to take everything out. So I'll be taking this one as well. So I'll have like a gold and this is like a peachy, like champagne color. In this drawer, I have my bronzers and my blushes. So this is all bronzers on this side, and then I have blushes right here, and I have some blushes back here also. Let's see. <clears throat> I actually haven't used my butter bronzer in a while, and I have pan on it too. I wonder if I should use this. Let's see what else I have in here. I actually picked this up from Marshalls. This is the Revolution Triple Baked Bronzer, but I kind of feel like it's a highlighter because it's really shimmery. Look at that. Like, how is this a bronzer? Like, this is a luminous bronzer, and this one is a luminous bronzer, too. But this is, like, too luminous, you know what I mean? So I kind of was thinking of using this as a highlight. It, I just actually thought this would be a little too dark on me as highlight. So, you know what? I haven't used this in a while, either. This has a bronzer and a blush in here. Here is that. I'll try this, actually. I'll use this for blush and bronzer. I might, I might pick another blush to use, just because so I have, like, a pinky blush actually I was just seeing this this is the Milani romantic rose blush so this is more of like a natural everyday color whereas that elf one was like a, a peachy color so we'll just take these two blushes and bronzer for the week I just realized I never mentioned what this was this is in Saint Lucia um, the elf duo and I don't know what else I have Oh, this is an empty drawer. See how I'm just kind of organizing and then... Oh, this is my face palette drawer. I don't think I need anything from in here. I'll just kind of give you guys a sneak peek. I have my glitters. And this is kind of a random drawer that I just kind of put together. Liners and pigments. And I don't think nothing's in here. So I'm still trying to organize. Some of them I'm going to keep how they are. And like this one, I, I feel like I'm going to change it up because... Like... I don't really like how this is just kind of like there. Like I want them to fit good. So maybe I can switch these out actually. Maybe I'll switch these over here and these over there. But yeah, like I said, still a work in progress for my organization and my makeup collection. So I need to pick an eyeshadow palette. And I think I'm just going to go with what's on top. This is the Soph X and Mariella. Hey. <laughs> um, Soph X times Makeup Revolution Ultra eyeshadow palette this is the new one that she just came out with them i've only used this once in a get ready with me trying new products sorry but that's what it looks like and i'm actually going to pick also the palette that's right here i was going to try this out too i was telling my friend amy from amy loves makeup that i haven't even used the shadows that i bought from sydney grace cosmetics so these are all sydney grace cosmetics this is the April Fool's bundle that they did a single shadow bundle from inspired by the Tarte April Fool's palette. So I'm going to use this palette and this other one. And I think it'll be a nice combo to kind of be able to mix, have a mixture of colors again. So I'm going to have some blues and greens and then I have some neutral shades to kind of tone this down because... These colors for work is going to be a little wild. I think I would use like this blue as like a liner and stuff. It would be pretty cool. So yeah, I'm going to have lots of color to use this week. So I actually have to come back over here because I actually need a liquid liner for the week. Again, I haven't decluttered yet and I have tons and tons of liners. I wonder if I should use this. See if I ever... I've had this for so long. Probably doesn't even work, but I'll pick this and see if it even works. If not, I can chuck it. But this is the Hard Candy Stroke of Gorgeous Felt Tip Liner. And this is in the shade In the Navy. This is navy. I thought it was gray. It looks kind of gray, doesn't it? But I'll take this. And then I also want... Let's see, look, I also have a gray one, actually. So, yeah, I guess it is navy. Well, I guess the navy will pair good with that Sydney Grace Shadows, actually. And I need a black. And the black liner I'm going to use is this one by Milani. This is the Ultra Fine Liquid Eyeliner in Black Vinyl. So this one, I kind of organized it for blacks, browns, and like dark colors. Like I have dark purple in here too. 
I wonder if I should pick up a blue liner to match my blue liner when I decide to wear blue. I'll pick this one by Urban Decay. This is the 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Binge. And then for mascara, I'm going to take this one. This is a sample that I just got from my Sephora sale, appreciation sale. Um, I really want to pick up the full size of this and I'm probably going to just go for it because tonight the sale starts for this mascara at Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. And I got the sample, but it's kind of hard to try out the sample before picking it up because the sale is tomorrow, but it starts today at 10 p.m. So I'm just going to take this for mascara this week. This is the... Lancome Monsier Big Volume Mascara. The restroom because I still haven't taken my lipstick to my filming room and this is going to tilt because I did take my blushes and bronzers from in this drawer but I still have my uh, lipsticks in this drawer. See, uh, this is very iffy. It's going to fall out. I think I want to use this one though. I know this is like an everyday nude shade. This is in Cool Nude by Essence. But it's like a your lips but better color. So I'm going to take this. And I think I'm going to take one of these Maybelline lipsticks. I should take this out of here actually. Oh, let's see. I want to use one of these lipsticks. Look, I got this one. Definitely not using that. Ooh, this one's kind of pretty. I wonder if I should use like a vampy color. What do I got here? This one looks kind of nice. Let's do red. I haven't done red in a while, guys. <laughs> this is the Maybelline Matte. I think it's one of the matte lipsticks in Rich Ruby. And this is what that looks like. How beautiful is this? I haven't used these lipsticks in a while. I'm gonna declutter a lot of my lipsticks just because I don't wear lipsticks. But these ones, like the matte Maybelline ones, I'm definitely going to keep, but like these Lorac ones, I don't wear gloss much. So I'm gonna declutter a lot that's so Let me go show you guys the overview. So I ended up picking this Benefit uh, Goof Proof Brow Pencil also. I have mine in the shade number five. And then here are all my items, my three liners, and my two lippies, my mascara. In my second drawer, I have mostly face products. So here's an overview, my powders, my two foundations, concealer, primer, and my sunscreen there. And then in the bottom drawer, I have my two palettes, blush, my two highlights, my dual bronzer and blush in there. But those are all the products I'll be using this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.